Now to the condition they call Australia's national cancer, melanoma. Despite the fact that prevention is simply a matter of avoiding too much time in the sun without protection, melanoma remains the third most common form of cancer, with 11,000 cases diagnosed every year. If you've watched TV or been to a movie on the eastern seaboard this summer, you may be familiar with the story of Wes Bonnie. Wes Bonnie grew up on a sheep and wheat farm near Ardalethan in southwestern New South Wales. Vaughan Bonnie is one of his older brothers. It was very much an outdoors lifestyle. We were always involved with the running of the farm, uh, helping helping Dad out where you know, or hindering him, as it were. But yeah, we were certainly we certainly grew up in a very outdoors type of environment. Vaughan Bonnie says his brother was smart and ambitious. He was named Ducks of his high school, then moved to Canberra to study IT and commerce. Wes Bonnie was 23 years old when he was diagnosed with melanoma. Vaughan Bonnie remembers his brother telling him on the phone. I, I remember it quite vividly. I was just about to buy a new car and he called me up and said, I think, I think I've got cancer. They think I've got cancer. I'm not sure. It'll, it should be right though. And, and that was the conversation. And I thought, oh, that's when I said, oh, we'll just get cut out, don't you? He said, yeah, pretty sure that's what will happen. And, you know, and then, what are you doing on Saturday? I'll catch up for coffee. Wes was no different to any other Australian young man. He played his cricket, his water skiing, plus he's down at the beach, loved beaches. Like anyone, you, there's times when you forget to wear sunscreen, but he'd never go to the beach intending to get a tan. I saw getting a, a bit of sun, in inverted commas, as, as a good thing. I, you know, I thought that was healthy. When Wes was 23, uh, he found a mole on his neck, which turned out to be melanoma. That was cut out, but the melanoma had spread into his bloodstream. I just thought, you know, get a cut out, you'll be fine. You see that many ad campaigns about skin cancer and melanoma, and you sort of take notice, and you just think it's never going to happen to you. Uh, seven days before my wedding, uh, I found a lump on his brain, and after that we knew it was all over. Getting a tan, at the risk of getting melanoma. Just, you know, it doesn't really make sense to me now after seeing Wes and, you know, just how, how tough he had it in the last few months of his life before he passed away. He tried to cover up the best he could. Evidently not good enough.